Hey you guys, welcome back to another big video and I'm Sam from Korean Medic back with another video. So as you guys have already seen the title, I'm gonna be reviewing InShot Pro. Now, InShot is the app that I use to edit all my videos. I add music, you can add voiceovers, you can add effects, stickers, text, everything. So I was using it and I needed more features so I decided to buy the Pro version. So now I have InShot Pro installed on this Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Of course the editing speed and all of those depend on how fast your device is. So this device performs fairly well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Is InShot Pro worth the purchase? Enjoy! So InShot supports 1080p resolution and as you guys can see this is your basically your editing place where you can see here all the features trim, canvas, background, filter, music, sticker, text, speed, crop, rotate, flip, you can do basically anything with these like you're limited to these but I gotta say it is pretty much worth it. Now for information InShot Pro is priced at LKR. LKR 5000 that's uh, Sri Lankan rupees 5000 at the time I purchased it. So as you guys can see this is the PlayStation 3 original versus fake controller review. And today as you guys have already seen the title I'm going to be reviewing a PlayStation. It, that complete video was edited with InShot Pro and it was filmed with a Canon camera. It was uh, filmed in full HD but it was downrated to HD because this InShot only supports HD. So if you want to edit something like 4K or something, you'll need to go for Adobe Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, something like that. So let's go through all the features. First you can trim the video. So let's say you don't want the first bit and you can just trim it like that. Done. And then um, I'm, for your information, I'm using another camera instead of recording the screen. It's because when I'm recording the screen, more RAM will be consumed and therefore affecting the rendering and editing speed. So I want to give you guys the full, you know, complete, true experience. So now the video is streamed. You can cut the video if you don't want any part. Or you can just split it as well as you want to split it here. And then you want to trim this part away. And then you want to split it again somewhere else. And likewise. So basically the canvas is the ratio of the video. You can change it to full or something like that you can choose the ratio customly you can get the Instagram ratio or YouTube ratio you can just there one to two two to one whatever you can you can go with whatever ratio you like and we can edit, save that as well depending on the amount of features you use the editing time will change so I'll just do something yeah, something like that. And then you get the filters. As you can see, all these filters, Cinema 1, Cinema 2, Cinema 3, these things, all the all the ones with the colored bottom, they are the features of InShot Pro. So up to here, it's InShot Pro. And from here, the other features, you get it with the free InShot version as well. So you can leave it as the original. And I'll demonstrate some of the filters for you guys. So these are cinema one and you can just you can control the strength of the filter. Let's say for example grayscale so you guys can see and you can adjust it. You can see the difference. So let's add something like film three. The film section is good for like kind of documentary or like cinematic videos and whereas you know the name kind of just tells tells it all skin one for you know vlogs showing your face so let's just go film film one i feel like film one is good so that's filter and you can add effects as well i forgot to do show you guys that section you can add effects as well so you can have the ghost effect tv effect you can change the intensity that's what it looks like and you have convex you have noise JPG scan edge where you can kind of like change that scan to the bottom fish eye tilt shift just like there are so many features 
the colored ones are the pro versions as I told you or you can go comic you can go colored comic something like that so let's leave it that way all of these means it's gonna take quite a while to edit and you can change the music as well by from in short you get some music packs one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine you get nine uh, music packs with InShot so these are not copyrighted because you purchase the app you get these uh, music packs without InShot Pro as well so you get these they are not copyrighted like um, they get updated as well so during last December Xmas pack came out and this came out as well so there are these various musicians who are supplying music or you can use your own music so let's use a Jeff's track and let's use that so you can adjust where you want it to be and you can make it fade in or fade out or you can adjust how much of it you want and you can adjust the volume of it and you can also control the volume of the video so let's add this to the beginning of the video and there you go you got your music so if we play it now so let's remove the sound of the video oh so that sometimes that happens so you just go draft and you can just exit in shot and come back in I don't know why that just happens sometimes, so when you reopen the app, it works. There you go. Okay, we got next up, we got stickers. So let's go there and stickers. So you can choose, you get various sticker packs by default, like you can get these but not all of them are free as I told you guys so if we go you can go to stickers and then you see the shopping icon here you can go there and you get the sticker market so not of, not all of these are free you get a price tag on them but since I have Inshot Pro all of them are free for me so there are a lot of sticker packs you can choose from all of these sticker packs you can choose from so let's just go for this one you can download another sticker pack and boom you got that sticker pack so let's see which one let's go let's use the twitch logo at the left and you can control for how long it's displayed you can add multiple stickers if you want and there are normal stickers as well with no animation so we don't need that one let's just keep that one for now and then you can add text so let's say test you can change the test text color in this case I don't know which one to use because the background is just hmm 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 okay I think we should use something like black uh -huh. okay oh there it is let's make that huge so it's visible and you can change the font just press the edit icon up there and you can choose the font as well there is a font market as well you can choose from all these different fonts and then again there is a price tag so yeah check whatever you can you can get those packs as well so I just selected that did I oh yeah I did um, let's go that and you can select the duration as well so let's keep it on the whole video and then you can adjust the speed so. so you can just adjust the speed let's say let's keep it at two times speed and you can crop the video as well yes you can crop the video as well or again it shows you these options so you don't have to do it yourself so let's just keep that part so all of these changes means you're gonna get a quite a long editing time and let's rotate it as well let's make it upside down and flip it 
those are pretty much the things you can do with InShot. And when you go to save, you can keep a draft if you want, if you want to re-edit it, if you're not sure. Let's not keep a draft. And here you get the quality options. You can go for 1080p, 720p, 640p, or you can customize it and add your own qualities. So let's go for 1080p. And now it's gonna start editing. Alright, so there you go. So for this device, because of it has a 3GB RAM, that's the editing speed with all those features. So depending on, yeah, let's say you have pretty fast phone, this is gonna be like, it's gonna be done. So normally there would be ads and there would be ads playing, yeah. But since this is InShot Pro, there are no advertisements in this. So I'm just gonna let this edit and I'll see you guys. Alright guys, the video is now done editing and it's saved so you can directly share it to anywhere you want you can do other tags instagram whatsapp facebook messenger youtube you can directly upload it to youtube so but hey let's play this thing and i'll see you guys oh wait <laughs> let's play it so you can directly play it through in shot or you can go to your gallery and play it but that's let's just go to gallery so you know that's that right there that's the original video um yeah this is what you get Ooh, why am i pressing ah. i was looking at the camera display you don't get the full ratio because we changed the ratio but hey i'll just show you guys around 30 seconds of this because there's nothing you can you can't even see hey let's go And if you're wondering if why the effect stops from here, because if you guys remember, we split the video in two. So you can add different different effects for the splitted part. So by default, it gets applied only to the section that you applied. So we split it around here. That's why it's different, in case you guys are wondering. So that was pretty much it. And I'm going to wrap up the video here. But in the end, what's our conclusion here? Is InShot Pro worth it? Well, what I've got to say is, it's completely worth it for the price. You're already an InShot Pro member. You just, this is just, it's amazing this app. Even without the Pro version, they're doing a great job. And this app is just great if you're just starting YouTube and you need, even if you're a professional video, even if you're a professional YouTube, YouTuber, you can use this app because this app is amazing and it you can do pretty much a lot of things with this app. You don't need Adobe Premiere Pro or Pro or Sony Vegas. You don't need all of that. You can do pretty much a lot of things with mobile with using this app. And in case what you guys are wondering why my voice is different, I am sick. <laughs> That's why. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. But hey, in the end, InShot Pro is completely worth it. Capital, bold, worth it, right here. It's completely worth it. If you guys are planning on buying InShot Pro, go for it. And if you're gonna play, start YouTube, go for it as well. There's a video on how to grow your YouTube channel. I made that. I'll leave the link in the description. And I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As always, peace out.